Hey Sebastian, what are you doing there? Oh gee Dylan, I'm doing some research. Well, it's a good thing you said so. <laughs> hey guys, this is uh, Dylan and Sebastian from Fitness 101 and this is our third tip on our introductory series on how to approach your fitness goals with a structured and intelligent approach. So uh, this step, uh, you need to start building a foundation of information. That's going to help you um, that's going to help you build a foundation, foundation. <laughs> of your information. <laughs> so just become a consumer. Just consume as much as you possibly yeah. can. But be wary of these uh, kind of third-party articles that are really not based on anything empirical. Kind of have an open mind when you read everything. Try and go after primary uh, sources. If you can't, if you're a student, um, tap into those online articles that you have access to as a student of wherever you go to. There's tons. Um, as students, Sebastian and I, we have access to the Journal of Strength and Conditioning, um, the American Medical Association, all this stuff. So, you know, it may be a little dense, but just give it a read over. Uh, this, an idea I have is you'll consume a whole lot of information, and at first it might just seem like little pieces that don't make sense. What, together, they're just individual. There's really no connection between them. But as you read more and you just even if you can't regurgitate, even if you can't tell somebody what you read, you something did register. And sooner or later you're going to create this, this neural network of understanding. And it's almost going to seem like all at once. Um, one day you're just going to be talking to somebody and you're going to realize you know a whole lot more than you thought just because you began consuming information. And that's going to help you in so many aspects of your lifestyle. I mean, countless. You can do a lot of research on diet and, and, and nutrition. And that can help you make your diet plan. And you can do stuff on actual exercise um, and exercise science and stuff. And then you can m help make a better plan for you. Kind of test the waters of different, different fields. Learn that information. That's really going to help you either get involved in a certain um, thing. Niche. Yeah, get involved or stay away from something that you know it's not going to work because the science doesn't um, support it. And there's a lot of things out there. Um, like if it fits your macro is very popular on YouTube and I mean it works but you gotta know your body and first you gotta do some research you gotta know yourself research yourself research the science research things around you don't just jump onto an idea because it seems so appealing because there are so many different ideas that just look so appealing because they're so simple on the outside nothing is that simple there's always little caveats there's always little things that you have to consider and Doing this kind of information, you know what else it does? It's super important, it calibrates your bullshit meter. At first, you don't know what you're reading, you don't know what's bullshit, and it's kind of overwhelming because there is so much out there on any topic, even outside of fitness. But even in fitness, you, there are so many levels of understanding that you could have, right down to the molecular level, if you want to go that deep. But by understanding all this and just consuming it all, you're going to understand, you're going to be able to better recognize those, those schemes you're going to find on those YouTube channels um, that prey on the ignorant. It's going to give you a defense against that so that you know, you know what, this, this guy's looking for money. He really doesn't care about my physique. He's, he's playing on my emotions. And that's really important because those types of things deflect you off your path so quickly. They're detrimental to your success. Like, there is no one program, there is no one diet, there is no one tip that nobody knows, or trick that nobody knows. It's There's no me. breakthrough revolutionary idea. No. Insert so the, yeah. the font really bright red and shining. If you see those ads on Facebook or, or YouTube, you know, to stay away from those. Because there is no one way. You gotta do your research, you gotta know what's out there. That's what's gonna help you find the way, the best way. For, for you. you. Right, cool. So thanks. Keep tuned for the next video.